What is your husband's number, by the way? Yes, let's I know, know that. He's, he's an eight wing seven. I, I knew he was going to be an eight. Did you know that? Yeah, well, twos and eights often find each other, right? Yeah. yeah. And oftentimes, I, get, I don't know what the dynamic is there because there's three different types of eights. But I would say that eights sometimes, sometimes, not always, but it's sort of a thing sometimes, is that the, the eight will uh, outsource the feelings to the two. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. A thousand percent. Yes. Yeah. And and uh, and they also um, rely on the twos naturally warm uh, and comfort. You know, you just you have a, what I call the wild, the wide circle of concern. People feel so safe with you. They they gladly tell you even intimate details of their life early in the conversation with you that they never would with an eight. Because the eight doesn't radiate that kind of safety, right? And so the eight, and you sometimes rely on that eight to give you the courage to set boundaries. A thousand percent, yes. And how to say no. And how to say no, yes. Right. Because otherwise, as a two, I'll, I, I won't be careful with my time. I'll feel drained. I'll, I'll get so emotionally involved as a two that that the eight kind of you know okay yes. well here's the plan here's no we're gonna like set some boundaries here yeah yeah so important uh that and then the other thing i'm just gonna say about the enneagram and partnerships that's really important if two people know their enneagram number they immediately have a vernacular and a vocabulary to have a conversation about how they see the world and move through it it's awesome. You know, it's it's so fast. It's amazing. 